Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you like this look and you want to see how I do it, stay tuned to this video because this video is all about the eyes and the St. Patrick's Day eye look. Stay tuned. Today we're going to be doing a St. Patrick's Day look. Uh, I had gone out a few days ago and purchased some green eyeshadows. Um, I have a couple of them here, but they're not really the greens that I wanted to use. Couldn't really find a lot of green eyeshadows on the market right now. Um, there's a lot of shimmer greens, but I was really looking for a matte green, like an emerald green, but I couldn't find that color, so I opted for two other choices. These are Maybelline Eye Studio um, eyeshadow palettes. I got this one, and it has one green in it, it's the third one right there, and then I got this one, which also has one green in it, right there. This one has mauves with the green, and then this one has um, browns with the green, and I think that the end color is like a goldish green or an army green, um, can't really tell until I go to put it on, but I doubt if I use that one in this video today. Maybe I'll try it out some other time. I think what I'm going to do is um, use a combination of these greens and see if I can't get it to look um, how I picture it in my mind. I also have, um, there's a pale green in this peach palette, um, and I may use that one as well. It just depends on how I like these or not. So uh, I'm going to start off using the peach palette and I'm going to use, uh, I believe this one right here for my transition color, maybe this one. And uh, I'm going to blend in browns with the green. Uh, I'm going to use the softer browns that are matte. Let's go ahead and begin with our e.l.f. blending brush. And we're just going to pick up a little bit of the, it's called Peaches and Cream. That's the color I'm going to use for my um, transition color. And I have a small mirror here in front of me. So I'm just going to kind of turn to the side a little bit. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to go back and forth in a sweeping motion in my crease area with this uh, Peaches and Cream color. It's a, it's a very pale uh, brownish peach color. It's really pretty, and it's a great transition color for what I'm wanting to do today. So as you can see, I've got a little bit on there, and I'm going to just keep layering this until I get the desired look that I want. And I'm not really going in with this like... I'm not applying much pressure at all. I'm just lightly going over with the tip of my brush back and forth like a windshield wiper. I tend to go rather fast, like especially in the corner. I'll go really fast right there to kind of give it a little more depth in that area and apply a little more pressure in that area uh, because I like to have some depth in the corners or at least the outer corner. And then you want to blend it up pretty high, especially if you have hooded eyes. Um, I try to blend up really high, close to my brow bone, um, because it gives me the, uh, the look of having a deeper set eye and not so hooded. See? Okay, so I've just about got this one where I want it. My hair is not cooperating today. It's getting in my way. Okay, so a little bit more, and this will be the color I want. Sometimes you can go in a circular motion, and it will help get the eyeshadow where you want it to be. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to tuck my hair behind my ear now because it's really getting on my nerve. Okay, so that's what Allie says. You're getting on my nerve. Yeah, she doesn't say nerves. She says nerve. She's so cute. That's my grandbaby, my youngest granddaughter. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to do another video with Liberty soon because I know you guys miss her. And I know she misses being on camera as well. She's been quite busy with school and projects and stuff like that. So that's why I haven't had her on here in a while. Um, I think I'm going to go for this darker green in this palette. Um, simply because I have on a dark green nail polish. Um... I did my nails a few days ago in, in, in this dark glitter green. It's a really pretty color. Let's see if you guys can see it. It's a really pretty color. I think my camera is not going to focus. Oh well. But it's a pretty green and I really like it a lot. Um, maybe I should have opened this. So the first thing I do when I buy eyeshadow palettes, especially if they're from the drugstore, is I take the little sponge applicator and I throw it out. They're useless. I, I don't use them. I use brushes. So, um, so I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to use this one on this side of the lid. And then I'll use the lighter one on the inner corner of the lid. So the brush I'm going to use for this is another e.l.f. brush. This is... Um, the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. There's no numbers or anything with these. Um, I think they're like $2.39. It just says e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I really like these. They, they're really nice brushes and they apply your shadows evenly and they blend well. So let's... Now, I've never done this look before, so this is a first for me. If it doesn't turn out, don't blame me. <laughs> this is a test run to see how I like it but I think it's going to look good so I'm just going kind of on the half outer corner of the eye and I'm just patting it in I don't know how good this eyeshadow is I don't know if there's going to be a lot of fallout or what um, but I'm just going to pat it in like this Okay, and then I'm going to smooth it out and blend it. See if it blends with this brush. Okay, that went horribly wrong. Do you guys see that? It's very patchy. Um, so this eyeshadow is not going to be a good one to blend with. And it's got a lot of fallout on my cheek area here under my eye. There's a ton of eyeshadow there. Um, I, I don't like that at all. So I'm just going to grab my uh, blending brush and kind of blend that in. Oh no, that's not good. You can't even tell that that's green and it just left like this powdery residue there's really no shimmer in it any anymore and um yeah that's not that's not good not good at all maybelline so i will be um i will be returning these to the store because well, i'm gonna go ahead and do this eye since the other eye has it on there and i'll have to do this one but it's probably going to get covered with a better shadow. Um, so yeah, I don't like this at all. This shadow is not good. Mm -mm. No. Live and you learn though, right? And this stuff was like $8. For these little bitty eyeshadows. It's not even like cheap, cheap eyeshadow. 
I mean, you could get better eyeshadow from e.l.f. That only cost you like three bucks. A lot of fallout. Way too um, chalky. It's not blendable. Um, it did not apply the way I wanted it to. The color is not pigmented hardly at all. Um, I don't see it being green. It looks more black to me now, like just like a patchy charcoal color. I don't like that at all. So we will not be using these other colors. I'm going to go into my peach palette now and see if I can't, um, I left my, my cleaning cloth behind me on my vanity. So I'm going to grab a cotton pad and just kind of get off that. Yeah, see that looks black. That does not even look green, you guys. That's, it looks like a dark gray black. It's a very ugly color. It's not even pretty. That's, hmm, very disappointed Maybelline. Very disappointed. I don't normally buy Maybelline anyway, but I just thought, you know, I'll give them a shot. See if I like it. If I do, hey, then I found a new um, go-to, but obviously that's not the case. Okay, so we're going to finish this look with the peach palette, and what I'm going to do is to try to blend out this mess that Maybelline has left me with. Uh, I'm going to pick up like a um, a darker brown, a matte brown. It's a little bit darker. I'm going to go in with this color right here, and this color is called Summer Yum. And let's just see if that it's like a it's like a a dark um, burnt orange color maybe. Um, it could be considered like a light chocolate, but it has more of a red tone to it. So we're gonna go in with that on the corner and see if we can't blend out some of this. Oh yeah, that's already looking better. We're just gonna, oh yeah, see, much, much better. I'm gonna leave a little bit of that charcoal -y color coming through in the center there because it's gonna get covered up anyway, but I don't wanna come in too far with this, this darker brown. That looks so much better. So much better. It does need a little blending, but I'm just using a little blending brush from Tarte. I think it came with um, it came with one of my palettes. Uh, I think Lights, Camera, Action or something, or Lashes. It came with the Holiday Palette, one of their Holiday Palettes. And it's it's a really good brush. It's double-ended. You get the um, the smaller blender on one end and then the fluffy blender on the other. So, okay. That looks a lot better. Okay. So now that I've got that done, I think I'm going to go into the um, lid right here with this green color in the peach palette. It's called Bless her heart. Aw, I like that name. And I'm just going to put it on the, the lid from the inner corner to the center. Now that's a pretty green. It's a light pastel green. But it's pretty. It's very pretty. And I bet if you were to use this, apply it with your fingertip or a sponge applicator, I bet you that it would look a lot, um, a lot more pigmented because it looks like one of those colors that, oh, and if you also, um, if you apply a little bit of your, um, setting spray, like the Makeup Forever setting spray or the Urban Decay, any kind of setting spray to the end of your brush, um, especially if it's a foam applicator brush, um, like this one, Apply a little bit of setting spray to that before you use a shimmer color on your lid and it'll make that color pop big time. But I don't really want a huge pop right now. 
I just want a little bit of a hint of green for St. Patrick's Day. But I'm going to use this applicator and see if I can't get a little bit more pigmentation in there. Yeah, that did it. See, that's so much better. I really am disappointed in the Maybelline um, makeup here. I, I was, I had high hopes for that, y'all. I really did. I had high hopes that it was gonna, that it was gonna be good and look good, but it didn't. So, oh well. Lesson learned. Don't waste your money on that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this white peach. It's a very light color right here on my brow and just lighten up the brow bone just a little bit right there. This doesn't have much shimmer to it. It has a little, a little sheen, but not a lot at all. It's a very light color. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to give Maybelline one more shot, and I'm going to use this other color in this palette here. Um, get rid of the applicator. I'm going to use this light color right here for the corner of my eyes and see if, um, if it works. It's very powdery. I mean, very, very powdery. A ton of fallout. That's not too bad. Um, it's not worth paying the seven dollars for this palette, though. Almost eight dollars, like seven ninety-seven, eight bucks, you know. So no, um, not impressed. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try a little bit of the green in this palette. It's a lighter. It's a much lighter green, and see if it provides any kind of, mm -mm, can't even tell I put that on there. Let's see. Just putting a little bit in the center of my eye. Okay, that one you can see. Let's try this one again. Okay, yeah, now you can see it. You just have to layer it on, I guess. Okay, now this green is really, or really pretty. Why couldn't the other one have been like this one? It's a very blendable. Hmm, that's strange. That's a pretty green right there. Okay, I might hang on to this palette because I like this, this color here. And the green's really pretty too. Um... Let me try this gold looking brown color. Look at it right. Oh yeah, that's very pigmented. What's the deal with the other palette? I'm not getting it. They should be the same formulation. They're the same type of palette. I mean, that's really pretty. Even the gold color. Okay. What's your deal, Maybelline? Maybe it's a different batch, or it, I guess it could be a different formulation since it's different colors, but um, yeah, I don't, I'm not liking the green in that one at all. So I'm going to put a little shimmer on the brow bone now because I want it to pop just like the rest. Like I said, this is a trial and error. This is a look I've never done before. Um, something different. Just because I can. Um, I want to take a little bit of that brown, that really pretty brown from this peach palette that I used, and go up under my eye. Just a little bit. Give it a little bit of color under there. And I'm going to go almost all the way to the inside corner but not quite. And blend it in with the rest to make sure that it's all uniform looking. 
Okay, so I think that about does it. Um, I need to do my eyeliner and um, I waited till the end to do my hot. I need to do my highlighter, my eyeliner, my lashes, and mascara. And then this look is done. So I will be right back. Let me go do that and I will show you guys the finished look in just a moment. Okay, so we are now at the 10 hour mark for the makeup that I applied this morning. And I just wanted to let you guys see what it looks like now. I will list in the video description box below all the items that I'm wearing today. 